99% of people who know how to run Facebook ads still suck at getting good results. When I was locked in my house during COVID-19, my only escape to make money was by running Facebook ads to sell cosmetics to make a living. So I was forced to learn it fast. But how you actually can learn it fast if there are such many variables and buttons to learn from? After watching this video, you're gonna start to implement it straight away and you will find out why you don't have to know all the Facebook technical details details to run a profitable campaign, even if you are a complete beginner. But how are you gonna learn it fast without overthinking all the Facebook ad details all the time? Simple, in this video I'm not just gonna handle you the fish, I'm gonna teach you how to fish. Exactly by understanding the three core methods I'm gonna teach you in this video. The first is the psychology behind a successful campaign on Facebook. The second are the tools you need to know and the third are how you're gonna operate with those tools to get the best results. I remember myself when I got started with Facebook ads, I started to focus on the wrong stuff and like nobody told me what I was doing and I was spending a lot of money on it. I was focused on ad creative, on the audience, on all these details inside of a campaign that I wanted to change to make the best results, but I was wrong. This structure is very, very important. No matter what you are selling, what you are advertising, e-commerce services, physical products, no matter what, you're gonna apply it all the time without even realizing that you are applying this formula. Here we have the top of the funnel, that you have the biggest audience you want to focus on and here you have unfiltered people, here you're gonna spend the most of the money and here you're gonna get the most of the data that you're gonna analyze later on. At this level you're gonna hit most of the people and hopefully you're gonna attract the ones that are the best for your business, for your services and so on. And moving on, we have the middle of the funnel, here is where we interact more closely with people that we brought inside of our funnel. And also we get the button of the funnel that is the most hot point. We usually sell products straight away, we usually upsell people, we usually make it repetitive customer like and so on, like increase the lifetime value of the client. And I'm gonna explain you how I usually spread the budget when creating a Facebook campaign to all of these levels. At first level it's gonna be 60 to 70 percent out for your budget. At the next level I recommend 20 to 30 percent. Like here is a principle you're gonna adjust it to your circumstances. Spreading these budgets because the audience is getting smaller and smaller and you're gonna need less and less money to reach that amount of people let's say at the top of the funnel you're gonna have 100k people in the middle of the funnel you're gonna have 50,000 people and at the bottom of the funnel maybe you're gonna have 10 15,000 and for you it's gonna be enough 10 to 15 percent to reach that amount of people keep in mind that you're gonna need a budget specific for that to retarget all the people that took a specific action and didn't convert it and you want to convert them or upsell or whatever because i didn't have anyone by my side to teach me how to do it right i was very lost at that point where i have to know all the details like facebook pixel i spent a lot of time trying to figure out what this pixel is why i need it for and how to manage it and how to work it at the advanced level. That's why I want to cover all the main assets you're gonna deal with running Facebook ads so you don't have to make the same mistake as I did. Facebook page is an asset, of course. Instagram page is an asset. The ad account where you're gonna run ads is an asset. The pixel that I talk about is an asset. The catalogs are an asset all in one place, that is business manager. So let's start with the Facebook page. I'm gonna go real quick because it doesn't take any advanced skills to make a Facebook page, but let's go it through real quick. You're gonna scroll down where you're gonna see more and you're gonna find pages. Here it is. You're gonna click pages and create a new page. Very simple, I'm not gonna go through all the process, just put the name, category bio and fill all the blanks that are needed inside here and here is how your page is gonna look like probably you have some different updates but mainly are the same but the most important is the meta business suite what is a meta business suite all the assets in one place 
for creators, for business owners to manage. Post content through here, schedule the content, do whatever you want, but we're gonna talk about ads. And if you see here, I have my Facebook page connected with my Instagram page. You already have to do it before running ads because you're gonna run ads on both pages and Instagram and uh, Facebook and after you connect it on business settings you're gonna arrive in the Facebook business manager this is the old one that everyone works inside here this is like some something separated from your personal profile this is a business already I already have it if you don't have it it's simple to create it as you create a Facebook page and you're gonna put all your business detail you, if you don't have a business just put your name and create it so basically here you have all the assets inside the business manager and you have people at this level you can share someone to work for you remember never give permission to someone to be an admin to have full control it may take over your business unless it's a person you really trust you have to create an ad account to run the ads from inside after you create an ad account you have to add the payment method you just go to add account click that R here and view pay payment method and you can add payment if you don't have any or change them that's specifically to that ad account but in general you're gonna go to here billing and payments that is for business manager here you're gonna see the business manager and here you're gonna see like all the way down all the assets and you're gonna manage them from here so after you created the ad account you have the Facebook page you have the Instagram account linked together you have the ad account with the payment method you need a Facebook pixel if you run ads on a website if you don't run ads on a website you don't need it but I'm gonna show you how to build one so you just go to data sources here's the pixel here you're gonna have one if you don't have any just go to th these three lines go to event manager and you're gonna connect data sources like what you need but usually it's web if you have something else go for something else click on web click connect and name this data set you name it and it's gonna give you a code okay it's gonna give you the option to do it manually you're gonna copy a code and install it by yourself in the head section code or you're gonna have some integration so after you copy that code just go to your website let i'm gonna share my wordpress website go and edit it and after you found your website go into the head section add the html go here go html and just type whatever code you need and after you've done that you saved it you're gonna install the metapixel helper this is chrome extension this is gonna show you if the website has a pixel and if it works perfectly or not and we're gonna check the website so as you can see it fire up the page view event on a pixel and if i'm gonna click the button it's gonna fire up the initiate checkout because i set it like that if someone click on that button it's gonna initiate the checkout and the page view and the button click automatically detected you have to do a domain check with the facebook it's also very easy you're gonna follow the steps but let's move on i want to share you the ad library you just go on google and search facebook ad library here you're gonna find all the ads that are currently active where some of them are inactive and you're gonna find out the competitors are and you can copy them and so on make something better okay how i'm gonna do the creative when we're gonna go to create the campaign you're gonna use something you are comfortable with i'm i'm using canva it's very easy it's very fast for me so here is some ads that i created for one of my clients and that is the vertical version for stories now you're gonna laugh at this one when i got started at that time i needed people to text me in messenger to buy my products 
I was selling cosmetics and I was choosing the messaging objective. I was totally wrong. I lost around 1k just on choosing on the wrong objective. So you don't have to do the same and just be very careful at this one. You're gonna be very clear what is the campaign goal and what is the campaign objective. Let's look at this. Let's say the campaign goal is to get text messages, but the campaign objective is gonna be conversion. Let me explain why. Let's say if you choose the messaging objective here, so engagement doesn't matter. Let's say if you choose the messaging objective, people will text you to get interested about your product or service, but they are not likely to buy from you. But if you choose the conversion, people are more likely to buy from you and you can convert it easier, better. You get it.